Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find all 60 Korok seeds here in the Lanaru Great Spring in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So our first two seeds are going to be found together along the Zora River. You guys can see our location here. And once you make it over here, we're going to find one of our little Korok buddies that needs help finding his friend, which is going to be up on top of the mountain on the other side of the river. So I would recommend making yourself an airplane so you can get across really easily. We'll go ahead and attach him. I've already made one. And we'll lift this thing up so we can use recall to fly up on the side of the mountain here. So go ahead and lift up, fly across, and once you get up here, just speak with them and we'll get our first two seeds. Seed number three is going to be found roughly in the same area, just a little bit further up the river near the bridge. You guys can see we're on the northern side of the bridge here. And you want to climb the structure on the left side. And when you make it to the top, you're going to see a little pinwheel here. When you see the pinwheel, just turn around and you're going to have three targets you need to hit with an arrow. So we've got one on the bottom, one in the middle and one on the top. And once you hit all three, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number three. Number four is gonna be found a little bit further east, just west of the Tabal Woods. You guys can see the location here. And it'll be pretty obvious there's a giant rock formation here that we wanna get on top of. You can put a rocket on your shield to get up here a little bit easier. But once you're up here, you're gonna find this little rock sitting up here by itself. Go ahead and pick that up and you'll get seed number four. Number five is gonna be found on the northern side of the Rudala River. You can see, again, the location here. When you make it to this cliff side, you're going to find a circle of rocks with one missing. Our missing rock is going to be up on the hill behind us. So just run up here. You can pick it up off the ground, throw this thing into the empty spot. A little poof will happen. The quark will appear and you'll get seed number five. Our next two seeds are going to be found together. These are six and seven, and they'll be just north of the bank of wishes. You guys can see this cliff side that we're standing on. Our little Korok buddy is going to be hanging out up here, and we're going to need to take him to the mountain across from us. So I highly recommend making an airplane for this one as well. I've already made one. We'll go ahead and throw our little guy on here, lift it up and use recall and we'll be able to fly across with no issues. Again, recommend the airplane for this one as it's a pretty good distance. But once you crash land over here, just speak with the Koroks and you'll get your next two seeds. For number eight, we're pretty much in the same spot. This time we're going to be across the river again, just north of the Bank of Wishes. And once you make it over here behind the rock is going to be one of those little cork things stuck in the ground. We're going to pick up the other side and dunk this thing into the water, let go. It'll fly up and pop the other side out and we'll get seed number eight. Number nine is going to be found on the other side of the river west of the Rallis Pond. You guys can see the exact location here. When you make it over here, you're going to find this cool little rock formation and there's going to be a flower under it. We're going to grab that and turn around and you're going to have a lot of flowers to follow here. Essentially, they're going to lead you up the hill on top of this giant rock. So just turn around. They'll continue to spawn up the hill. We'll go over here on this rock, go around the back side, follow a couple more. And again, this thing is just going to lead us on top of the rock here. Our last one will appear on the top. We'll go ahead and grab that. You'll get Korok seed number nine. For number 10, you want to head just southwest of the Bank of Wishes. You guys are going to see a small little pond here on your map. We want to go in the pond. There's going to be a wooden stump on the ceiling that we need to ascend to. So what we're going to do is cut down one of the tall trees so that we have a really long log. And then you just want to extend this out as far as you can so that it's directly under that wooden stump in the ceiling. We'll go ahead and line this up so it's about even. Once it's there, we can then jump in the water and swim to the log. And all you need to do is climb up on the log and ascend through that tree stump on the ceiling. So we'll Go ahead and ascend through that. It'll take us to the little top of this mountain here. And once you get up top, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 10. Number 11 is going to be found southeast of the Bank of Wishes on the Oren Bridge. You guys can see the bridge location here. And once you make it here, if you look off in the water, there's going to be a bunch of rocks. You want to jump across to those rocks and lift the small one on the top. And once you do, you'll get Korok seed number 11. Number 12 is going to be found on the southern side of the Rallis Pond. You guys can see the location here. When you make it over here, there's going to be a bunch of rocks as well as a log next to them. Inside of that log is an acorn. Just hit that thing. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 12. Number 13 is going to be found just southeast of the Rallis Pond. You want to come up on this giant cliff side here. When you make it to the top, you're going to find a little tree stump. This is going to start a timer. So we'll go ahead and walk across, run to the edge of the rocks and we'll fly across. Again, there is a timer on this, so you want to try to be as quick as possible. However, you can see I didn't really do anything spectacular. I just kind of floated across and made it. But once you make it to the yellow circle, you'll get Korok seed number 13. Number 14 is going to be found on the cliff side above the Oren Bridge, just southeast of the Bank of Wishes. When you make it up here to this ledge, you're going to find a pinwheel. When you run up to it, you're going to have five balloons that spawn over the edge of the cliff here. 
All we need to do is hit all five balloons with these arrows. It's okay if you miss a shot or two, but once you hit all five of them, the Korok will appear and you'll get C number 14. Now, number 15 is going to be in the exact same spot, except this time you want to go underneath the giant cliff side. So if you jump off and float underneath, you're going to find a bunch of trees as well as a pretty big rock. Go ahead and climb up on top of that rock. You'll have the little leaves appear, interact with them, and you'll get seed number 15. For number 16, we're going to head a little bit further south. You guys can see the giant circular mountain thing on your map. We want to head to the southwestern side. And over here on the cliff side, we're going to have a tree with a yellow flower behind it. When you walk over that flower, the next one will spawn. And essentially, all we need to do is run around the outside of this mountain until we get over here where the rocks are and our final flowers will be on top of the rocks. Once you grab the white one, you'll get seed number 16. For number 17, we're going to head over to the Rudo Mountain. You guys can see the location. We want to head up on top of this peak over here. And once you make it up here, you'll find a little wooden stump. All we need to do is jump off and land on the target without touching anything else. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 17. The next location is going to be just south of Zora's Domain on the little island connected to the Great Zora Bridge. Now, when you make it out here, there's going to be a tall tree on your left. All you need to do is climb to the top of that tree. There's going to be some little leaves. You can interact with those and you'll get seed number 18. Number 19 is going to be found on the same little island that's connected to the Great Zora Bridge, except this time we want to jump off the island and go underneath the bridge. So we can come over here to the ledge, drop all the way down onto this little platform and pick up the small rock. The croc will appear and you'll get seed number 19. Seed number 20 is going to be found south of Zora's Domain up here on this cliff side. You can see the location here. And once you make it up, you want to go all the way to the top of the rocks and behind one of the rocks is going to be a hidden pinwheel. Now, this one's a little challenging. You're going to have five or six targets that just constantly drop. And when they get too low, they'll pop and respawn back up at the top. So you guys can kind of see me struggling with this one. But again, don't worry. It doesn't matter how many shots you miss. You just need to take out all of these balloons. And once you get all of them, uh, the Korok will appear. We've got one here. There we go. The Korok appears and we'll get seed number 20. Seed number 21 is going to be just west of Zora's domain over by the falls. Now you're going to need the Zora armor to climb the waterfall for this one, but you're going to see a rock with a tree stump on it. You just want to walk over that arrow and we want to climb to the top of the waterfall. So if you put on the Zora armor and swim out here, it'll give you the option to actually swim up the waterfall. And our little yellow circle is going to be at the very top. You guys can see it here and we're just going to jump through that. Once we do, the Korok will appear and we'll get seed number 21. Number 22 is right in the heart of Zora's domain and it's going to take you a few minutes to get to as you're going to need to climb to the highest point here in the middle. Once you climb all the way to the top, you guys will see that we have a little cluster of leaves floating down here in this little triangle. We can float right on in and interact with these leaves. And once you do it, you will get seed number 22. Number 23 is going to be found in the same spot in the heart of the Zora's domain. However, you want to go all the way to the bottom this time. So if you jump off the main level down here by the water is going to be a small rock that you can pick up and you'll get seed number 23. Number 24 is going to be on the far western side of Zora's domain. And this is also going to be on ground level. So you don't need to climb any mountains. When you come over here, you'll find a little circle of rocks with one missing. Our missing rock is going to be over here in the corner down by the water. So we can use Ultra Hand to pick that up, bring it back over, drop this thing in place. And what you do, it'll poof and we'll get the Korak to appear and get seed number 24. For number 25, we're going to head north of Zora's Domain on top of the giant waterfall that's just south of Toto Lake. And once you're on the top, all you want to do is dive off and we're going to dive down into a circle of lily pads. You can see it here in the water. Once you get close, I recommend pulling your chute just to make sure that you don't miss and just dive through the lily pads and you'll get seed number 25. Our next location is going to be found just to the west of Upland Zorana. You guys can see our location here on the screen and you'll see a cliff on the edge of the mountain here that we can jump down to and back in the corner is going to be a small rock that we can lift to get seed number 26. For number 27, you want to head all the way to the northern side of the Toto Lake and if you go right up to where the water in the lake ends, you guys will see by the rocks it goes down a little bit. We have a circle of rocks with one missing. Our hidden rock is going to be mixed in with these bigger rocks. So go ahead and pick that thing up, drop it in the circle. Once you do, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 27. Number 28 is going to be on the northern side of Ploymus Mountain. You can actually see that we're going to drop down on this little ledge on the side of the mountain. So once you get over here, you can jump down. You'll see that there's a little puzzle. All we need to do is lift the piece up and turn it around completely. 
and drop it back in. Once you do, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 28. Our next two seeds are going to be found together over by Shatterback Point. You guys can see when you make it to the top of the ramp here, if you turn around facing the ramp, if you go on the right, our little Korok buddy is going to be hanging out on the rocks. And you can see that all we need to do is take him to the little bottom of the hill here. So we don't have to go too far. I highly recommend just picking him up and carrying him down the hill uh, as it's going to take you more time, most likely to build a craft to get down here. But all you need to do, bring him over here, speak with the Koroks and you'll get your next two seeds. Seed number 31 is going to be found just west of Shatterback Point up on the mountainside. You guys can see our location here. And once you make it over here, you're going to find a small cave in the side of the mountain here that you can climb up to. And there's going to be a flower inside. So we just need to walk over this thing. It's going to come back to the outside and we're going to climb all the way up on this ledge. So just continue to climb up until you see the white flower. Once you grab the white one, the crock will appear and you'll get seed number 31. Our next location is going to be found on the northern side of the East Reservoir Lake over by the dock. You guys can see our location. Once you make it over here, you're going to find a set of stairs. You just want to jump over the ledge next to the stairs and pull your chute and then pull your arrow out. You can hit the balloon that's hiding right here underneath and get seed number 32. Our next location is going to be found over by the Tau Tau Peak just north. You guys can see we're on the mountainside here and we want to jump down to this little ledge. When you make it over here, you'll see there's a pinwheel on the rock on the side of the mountain. And once you walk up to it, you're going to have three balloons spawn that you need to take out. So we'll shoot all three of those. The ones on the left and the right can be a little bit difficult as they move in a triangular pattern. But once you get all three, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 33. Our next location is also going to be right next to the Tau Tau Peak. You can see on your map here, we have a small pond. If you come over to this pond, there's going to be a waterfall. And if you go behind the waterfall, there's a secret little area with a small rock. Pick up the rock and you'll get seed number 34. Number 35 is going to be in the same exact location by that pond, except this time we want to head up on top of the waterfall. And once you make it up top, you're going to find this giant boulder sitting on the ground and pick it up. And right over here on the edge is going to be a spot where you can place the boulder. Be careful to get this on your first try, because if you miss, it may roll down the mountain and cause a lot of problems. But once you get it in there, you'll get seed number 35. The next location is going to be on the very top of Tau Tau Peak. So work your way up to the top of that mountain. And once you get to the very top, you'll find a small little rock sitting up here. Go ahead and pick it up and you'll get seed number 36. Number 37 and 38 are gonna be found together on the southern side of the East Reservoir Lake, right over here by the dam. And once you make it to the dam, you'll find our little Korok buddy hanging out by the water, and you'll see that we need to take him to the other side. There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. One is to create yourself an airplane per usual. You can also use a boat, but personally, I think the airplane is the easier way to go as you can pretty much just fly in a straight line. The only thing you need to be careful for are these giant rocks that are sticking out of the water. If you're flying too low, you'll run directly into them and fall into the water. It'll be pretty difficult to get out. So make sure that you have enough height. But once you get over here, drop them off and you get your next two seeds. Number 39 is going to be found on the dock that's on the far eastern side of the East Reservoir Lake. You can see the location here. Once you make it to the dock, you'll see the pinwheel on the end. You're going to have three balloons to shoot. And I'm going to speed this up because I missed a lot. You guys can see they're a little difficult to hit. So make sure that you're aiming way up above them so that you can actually connect. But once you hit all three of these balloons, the Korok will then pop up and you'll get seed number 39. Our next location is on the far eastern side of the map, right where it says spool bite. And we're going to be on the cliff side here. If you make it over here, you'll find a puzzle. The piece is going to be on the very top. We're going to take it down and we're going to turn it around and then we'll rotate it once to the left. Once it's backwards, just like this, you can stick it right through the middle here. And once you do, you'll get the Korok and seed number 40. Number 41 is going to be found in essentially the same exact spot. We're just going to head over to where the trees are here on your map and you'll find another puzzle once you get over here. This one's pretty easy as well. We're just going to pick up the piece and rotate it upside down and it'll fit perfectly here on top. The Korok will then appear after the puzzle is complete, and you'll get seed number 41. The next location is also going to be in the same area, except this time we're going to head up on the mountain where the Monster Forces camp is. And you want to go all the way up on top of their little half cave that's on the back side. You guys can see where we're standing. There's going to be a small rock on the top. You can just go ahead and pick that up and get Korok seed number 42. Our next location is going to be found on the northern side of the Talus Plateau. You can see our exact location here. There's going to be a pretty big rock in the middle that has a dandelion on the top. Go ahead and hit that dandelion, and if you wait at the bottom, it's going to float down. Just make sure that you grab it before it touches the ground, and you'll be able to get seed number 43. Our next location is going to be found just west of the Talus Plateau in the little islands down here. 
If you head to this location, you'll find a tree stump on the top of the rock. All you need to do is jump off and fly toward the yellow circle. You are going to have a wind gust. If you fly straight, it'll help you out. So don't worry about falling down in the water. And once you make it, the croc will appear and you'll get seed number 44. Number 45 is also going to be found west of the Taos Plateau, except this one's going to be found on the southernmost island. And once you get down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of rocks. You want to make your way to the very middle rock here. It's pretty small. But when you climb up to the top, the little leaves will spawn. You can interact with them and you'll get seed number 45. Our next location is going to be found right in the heart of the Talus Plateau. You can see our exact location here in the middle of all the trees. And you're going to find a small rock that's right in the center of the emblem. It'll be super hard to miss. Go ahead and lift that rock up and you'll get seed at number 46. Number 47 is also on the Talos Plateau. This one's just a little bit further south on the other side of the mountain. And you guys will see that we have a little cave here, a little walkway to go through. All you want to do is ascend through the wooden stump that's on the ceiling. And once you make it to the top of the mountain, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 47. Seed number 48 is also going to be here on the Talus Plateau. You guys can see here on the map that there's a small pond down here. If you work your way over to the pond, you'll find a puzzle. The piece is going to be right here in the water. And all you need to do is rotate this thing around. You'll be able to fit it into the square on the rock here. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 48. Number 49 is going to be found all the way on the far eastern side of the map down by Winter Island. And this one will be pretty easy to spot. You're going to have a cluster of leaves that's just traveling around the island. All you need to do is work your way up to them, interact with them. The croc will appear and you'll get seed number 49. Seed number 50 is going to be found down by the Lodrum headland. You guys can see our exact location here on the screen. And it'll be pretty obvious once you get out here, there's going to be a tall column that you can climb that has a flower on the top. Once you grab that flower, you're going to basically just keep flying your way across to all of these columns and grabbing a flower on top of each. When you get to the third one here, if you turn around, we're going to have a small one behind us we can float to. Go ahead and grab this one, fly all the way across, and we just need to get up on top of these ruins over here. So we'll climb up top, grab the last flower, and we'll get seed number 50. Number 51 and 52 we're going to be found together right over here by the Jaabu Ridge. You guys can see we're kind of standing on the cliff side here. And once you make it over here, you'll find our little Korok buddy, and he needs to go a pretty good distance over to the island at the bottom of this mountain. Now, the only way to get over here is to make an airplane, so make sure that you have materials to make a plane. And we're going to go ahead and fly all the way across. Now, this one is a little bit further than usual, so make sure that if you are making an airplane... To get him over here that you add a couple batteries so that uh, your wing can make it all the way down here because this is probably one of the furthest ones that I've had so far but once you make it over here just interact with them and you'll get your next two seeds. Number 53 is going to be found over on the Bryna Plain. We'll show you the location here and it'll be pretty easy to spot. We're going to have a circle of rocks with two that are missing and fortunately they're both right here in the middle. So just go ahead and pick both of these up and put them next to each other to complete the circle. Once you do the Korok will appear, and you'll get seed number 53. 54 is going to be found on the far southwestern side of the Ja'abu Ridge, down by all these trees that are here on your map. And there's going to be a giant puzzle here. The piece is going to be in the shape of a letter T. You want to rotate it just like so, and then you're going to be able to fit it in on the bottom left. You can see I'm trying to squeeze it in the middle. If you put it right down here in the bottom left, it'll fit right into place and you'll get seed number 54. Number 55 is going to be found on the Samasa Plain. You guys, again, can see the location here. There's going to be a giant tree surrounded by some ruins. All you need to do is climb to the top of that tree, pick up the rock that's up here, and you'll get seed number 55. Number 56 is going to be on the far northern side of the Samasa Plain. You guys can actually see on your map here, there's a small dock that leads out into the river. If you go to this dock and go to the edge, you can jump off and dive straight down into a circle of lily pads. And you'll be able to get seed number 56. For number 57, you want to head down to the southwestern side of the Samasa Plain. Again, here is the exact location. When you get down here, there's going to be two statues with plates. One's going to have a roasted porgy. If you don't have any porgy in your inventory, if you come right over here behind you where the water is, you'll be able to catch a few that are swimming around. And then you can come right back over here and build a fire right next to where the statues are. I've already done so. So we're going to take our raw porgy out and we're going to cook this thing over the fire. So you can just drop this thing using Ultra Hand into the fire. You can hold on to it if you want to. Once it's done, it'll pop up and say roasted porgy. Go ahead and throw that in the second plate. It'll go poof. 
the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 57. Number 58 and 59 are going to be found together down by the Lanayru Bay. Again, you can see the location here on your screen. And once you make it over here, you'll find our little Korok buddy hanging out looking for his friend. And we need to take him a little bit further down the beach and on the other side of the bay. So you can do this two ways. You can make a boat or an airplane. As always, I think an airplane is the easiest way to go. So we'll go ahead and use recoil on this thing so we can get in the sky. And we'll fly our way across to the campsite. Again, you can kind of see it's on the land right across on the other side of the bay but we'll drop them off and get our next two seeds our 60th and final seed in this region is also going to be found in the same spot down by the Lanayru bay and you'll see there's a little island of rocks in the water with a flower on one of them all we need to do is run into that flower and follow it around the rocks it's eventually going to lead you up here to the tallest rock in the water you'll just be able to climb to the top once you grab that one we're going to fly back to the start and you'll get the Korak to appear and you'll get seed number 60. But this is how to get all 60 Korak seeds here in the Lanayru Great Spring. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.